Okay, so in this video, I wanna hand you 13 lines that make you more attractive to a woman that you're talking to. Hi, I'm Bobby Rio. Now, this may sound like common sense, but the single best tactic you can employ to increase your success with women is establishing attraction. Weirdly, a lot of guys wanna skip this part and they wanna ask a girl out or expect that she'll wanna date you without ever actually establishing that the two of you are attracted to each other. How do you initiate attraction? You flirt your way to attraction. But the difference between flirting and just talking is that flirting is sexually charged and nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be your responsibility to take that next step and consciously sexually charge the conversation. The truth is that women like to be desired. They wanna know that they're turning you on, especially if you've established rapport and you guys are comfortable around each other. You've got that you know, one foot in the door and they're waiting for you to come inside. You know, No pun intended there, but think about it. If women were chasing you all night, you would start to qualify them. Probably high on your list would be their physical appearance, very closely followed by if they found you sexually attractive and wanted to sleep with you, right? We find someone more attractive if they find us attractive. Make no mistake about it, this is crucial. If the girl you're talking to doesn't feel a sexual vibe from you, it's practically a guarantee that you're going to strike out with her. Now the good news is that establishing attraction, shifting that gear into sex drive is really quick, it's really easy, and it's kind of fun. Once you start doing it, you'll be amazed how women are automatically more sexual around you, more sexually attracted to you, more importantly. <clears throat> now, you can use these lines to break those little awkward moments of silence, and what'll happen is you'll start looking forward to them. Best of all, it's a time saver. No longer will you find yourself endlessly talking to a woman, seeming to make no progress, and wondering if she's you know, sexually attracted to you at all. What follows are some of my personal favorites that you can start using on women tonight. But as the saying goes, teach a man to fish, right? So my hope is that by learning these, you'll begin to use this technique naturally. And more importantly, you come up with your own lines on the fly to suit your own personality and surroundings. Keep your tone really playful with these lines. Um, you're kind of like accusing her of hitting on you, tease her, keep it light, but sexual compliment her in a unique way fearlessly cut through the bullshit of your situation, right? Wait for the right moment, but don't wait too long. That's the thing. Keep, keep in mind, these are not openers. <clears throat> They're rapport breakers, meaning you'll use these when you've been talking to her for a bit and you need to move it to that next level. Okay, no more fucking around. Steal these lines. Number one, seriously, you gotta stop undressing me with your eyes. That line allows you to bring the sexuality into it, but it's playfully accusing her of being the one to do it. <clears throat> Number two, now you're just flat out trying to seduce me. Again, you're playfully putting on her, but you're also letting her know that you're getting turned on by her. Women like that. Number three and four, you really look like you wanna kiss me right now. Or, you look like you really wanna make out with me right now, but try to restrain yourself. We're, we're in public, you know? Again, you're saying this in a funny way, um, but you're not. You're, you're crossing that line. Even though it's funny, you're crossing that line. One way to think about these lines is that you not say them to a friend, right? So these lines kill the friend zone objection later. Number five, where have you been all my life? This is ridiculous. It's kind of cheesy and obvious, right? But it totally works. Just keep the tone really playful. I like to throw in this is ridiculous, just so it doesn't sound too serious. Number six, you wanna just get married already? What are you doing Tuesday? Again, expressing the interest, but being so ridiculous that it's playful and it's not like a nice guy compliment, right? Cause she knows it's like, you know, just being playful. Number seven, we are gonna fight like crazy when we're married. I think it'll be worth it though for the makeout, makeout sex though. Again, great line because it brings in the sex element in a playful way. By the way, before we get into the remaining uh, six lines, if taking a conversation to a flirtatious sexual level is something that you struggle with, I'd like to invite you to a free online class that I put on a few times a week called Three Steps to Verbal Arousal, where you'll learn three phases of a conversation and how to move things from platonic 
to sexual with three simple steps with word for word examples of each step. You can register it for it now at makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash three steps. Also, if you like these type of videos with specific lines, hit the like button and subscribe so I know and also leave a comment with what you'd like to see me cover in future videos. All right, back to the lines. Number eight. Okay, you keep adjusting your glasses and it's got like this whole sexy librarian thing going on. I can't even concentrate right now. Okay, obviously not all girls wear glasses, but if she's fiddling with her hair, use that instead. Number nine. So I think I just have to give you my number. You're doing too good of a job. Great way to bring up exchanging phone numbers in a playful way. Number 10, you're such a badass. I don't even know if I'm more intimidated or turned on. For some reason, uh, you know, I find calling a girl a badass always goes over well, but you're also letting her know you're turned on, which is, which is great. Number 11, are you wearing, insert you know, an item of clothing, consider me seduced. Number 12, Okay, this is sexual tension is actually ridiculous. What you can do afterwards is sort of push her away like a bit, like this is ridiculous. Almost like you're, it's her fault for turning you on. Number 13, you are so fucking sexy. Keep it simple. That's actually a classic line that I've used dozens of times. One thing about a woman is this. A pretty girl knows that she's pretty, but she's not really sure if she's sexy. So it's really validating for her to hear that. Okay, so this is really the tip of the iceberg, and I'd love to walk you through all three steps of taking a conversation from a friendly level to a flirtatious level in my free online class. You can register now because here's the thing. Once you use a line like this, you're then moving into the next phase, and there are different lines and different techniques you can start using. So register now at makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash three steps. And if you like this video, hit like and leave a comment below on what you'd like me to cover in my next video.